A state of emergency has now been declared in St. Lucia by Governor General Sir Neville Snack in an extraordinary gazette released on Monday, March 23, 2020. The proclamation reads, quote, I am satisfied that a public emergency has arisen as a result of the occurrence of 2019 NCOV, an infectious disease commonly known as COVID-19, end quote. This declaration seeks to provide the government with the legal teeth to perform the necessary actions against any fall-off caused by COVID-19. Meanwhile, resistance by returning nationals to remain in quarantine after returning home from affected regions has forced Chief Environmental Officer Parker Ragnanen to explain the rationale behind the rigid approach taken by officials. So far, all persons, including nationals, who are coming into St. Lucia from the restricted countries are to go into mandatory quarantine. And as our chief medical officer has already explained the process for quarantine, there is the option of home quarantine or to be placed in a public health care facility for quarantine. We have seen the, the challenges in terms of that. And one is persons, even when you tell them in advance that it would be quarantine, have the notion that I can come to St. Lucia, it's my home, and I'll get to go free. And therefore, persons have seen resist tremendously the efforts of being quarantined. And uh, we need to understand the, the principles for quarantine. We, we say over and over again, quarantine is different to isolation. Quarantine is for people who are well, but we believe that you may have had contact with somebody who is sick. You're coming from a country where there is widespread transmission of the disease. Therefore, it is prudent uh, for you to remain under monitoring to see if you yourself develop any symptoms so that very early you would be able to be tested uh, and treated. It means that you're going to be protecting the very family member of yours that you are here to visit because this is where you intend to go home to your, to your loved ones. These are the people that we are protecting by implementing a quarantine measure. Reports indicate that the battered Wuhan province, where the first case of the virus was recorded, had more difficulty in battling the spread of the disease that is now holding the world hostage. For persons who are home quarantined, we inform them of the protocols of home quarantine. One is that they need to remain within a confined area. We receive reports all the time that there are people who are supposedly under home quarantine but they are out climbing with the friends, they are at the bar socializing, and they find themselves in different places. That should not obtain. We cannot be at every single home 24 hours. Persons must take responsibility for themselves and the health of family members and the community at large. Ragnanan took the opportunity to outline the protocols of home quarantine. One is to remain within a confined area. So. You need to have a separate bedroom and access to a separate bathroom from every other person in the household. Secondly is you're not supposed to be mingling with everybody else in the house and using common areas. So you're supposed to remain to that confined space. And we say to persons that when they get served, served with disposable utensils. We also are advising persons who are home quarantined to as much as possible reduce the use of air condition, but rather for natural ventilation, because it would allow for air circulation and uh, the use of air, the vitiated air to, to, to be circulated in and out. So that is very, very important. Uh, we also advise the persons to pay attention to horn washing, to cough etiquette like we have always done, because these are important. And uh, these are some of the basic protocols that are in place in terms of home quarantine. But people choose to disregard and neglect these basic things. And as a result, it is putting persons at a higher risk. The effectiveness of the measures taken by the officials remain heavily reliant on personal responsibility by the public to adhere to the social distancing policies. Solaj Alfred, HDS News Force.